Hey, hi everyone. Welcome to PCF. Today we are going to start SSIS classes. Okay. So in this what so in this class we are going to discuss about what is SSIS and why SSIS. Okay. What is the advantage? Of, what are the advantage of SSIS and all? We'll discuss. Okay. What is SSIS? SSIS is like uh, the full form of SSIS means S means SQL. Again, one more S means server. I means integration and this s means services okay ssis means sql server integration services okay so what is the use of ssis means it's a etl tool okay ssis means etl tool etl tool okay etl means e means extract t means transform and l means load okay etl means e means extract t means transform and l means load okay so it will uh, do the so total server based etl operations like so it will take the different types of sources okay so like uh, so this is you can feel this is the one source and uh, there is one more source like uh, so like suppose you have two three sources are there one is excel file another one is csv file and another one is some different different sources you have so by using uh, different different sources so if you pick the data okay take the data uh, we'll uh, we'll pick the data we'll uh, take the data different from different different sources and then we'll load into the sorry guys just a minute the other source one and then source two and then source three something like that so this is a csv file again this is excel file and this is some other file okay some you know, text file something like that so it will take this data and then uh, it will do the etl operations integration means what combining different different uh, sources data different different application data into a single okay combining multiple data okay multiple sources data into single that is so it will pick the data here and then it will do the etl operation extract transform uh, and load so ssis this is the ssis ssis means it will um, apply etl etl means extract transform and then load transform means what it will pick the data from different different sources the data may not be a clean data okay that may be unstructured data that is um, comma separated data uh, blank data and whatever it may be okay so all the data it will take uh, into uh, it will uh, it will take the data and then it will clean the data and load into the destination okay destination server Okay, it will load into the destination that may be SQL server. Okay, so it will clean and then it will load into the destination server. So this is all about the uh, SSIS. So it will, uh, you know, clean very uh, you know, big amount of data. ETL means what? It will clean a very big amount of data. SSIS will uh, handle very uh, big amount of data. This is the destination server that may be uh, etl so destination so this is about the architecture about the sometimes okay sometimes data will uh, so if you if you have only a uh, few amount of data so it will uh, directly take the uh, etl operations and then it load into the destination if you have a huge amount of data so like uh, if you don't want to give any burden to the uh, source applications so just you will uh, dump the data in, into uh, staging area and again so from staging area again you will use ssis and then uh, we'll clean the data so just to, for dumping purpose we we'll use ssis and then we'll uh, just dump the as is the raw data and then after again we will uh, use ssis and then clean the data and then load into the destination when we will do this when we have a huge amount of data and then if you don't want to give um, 
any uh, burden to the source application, then we'll go that type of operations. But in general, so we'll go with this uh, different kind of sources and then we'll integrate. Integrate means what? Combining all this data and uh, so SSIS means integration service, right? It's combining the data. So, and then ETL uh, will do the cleaning and then we'll combining the data into the destination. So that is about the SSIS. So then what is the advantage, what are the advantage of SSIS means data can be loaded in, uh, loaded in parallelly to many uh, varied destinations. Okay. So you can load the data into different, different uh, destinations at a time. Parallelly means at a time. And um, we can, so we don't require any programming. So no need to write any programming. Everything is a drop and uh, drop and uh, drop and drag. Okay. So just mappings. Okay. So everything is a visual kind of things. So no need, no need to write any programming. So 90% case, okay, 90% we can go with the uh, SQL. Okay, so if SSIS means what? 90% SQL and only 10% with the VB script. So 10%, that may be you can learn with the, you know, so 90% with the SQL. So you should know about the SQL when you want to learn SSIS. So, and 10% is VB script, 10% is VB script. So you should know about VB or C sharp. C sharp. So these are the things to learn uh, SSIS. And we don't require any programming things. Okay, only 10% you require uh, the script language and the integration with the other products. So we can, uh, so we can connect with the any other products also and then cheaper than other than other etl tools compared to other etl tools so it's a etl uh, ssis is a very cheap and then complex error handling any kind of error handling we can do in ssis and uh, reduce the reduce data complexity so if you have any uh, so like uh, bringing the data so if you want to write some programs and then bring the data into the destination so if you have any challenge so it's a very uh, you know very easy way to bring the data into destination and easy data collaboration and smarter business decisions okay by creating ssis packages we can take the decisions very quickly so that is the reason we can go for the uh, ssis okay these are the advantages so we can see tomorrow class we can see tomorrow class uh, so Installation setup, okay. Like uh, so, we'll take only. Uh, so, so I have already in my machine. I have already Visual Studio 2017. So once you open a Visual Studio 2017, okay. Just so go with this Visual Studio 2017. Once you open that, so after installation and all. Once you open that, so there is a new, and then you can go with the projects. So SSIS. So there is an integration service. There is that integration. Here is an integration service. So you can go and then uh, create a project name. Actually, in SSIS, we have a hierarchies like uh, uh, projects. Project contains the packages. Project contains the packages. Packages contains the tasks. It's a combination of tasks. Packages contains the combination of tasks. Okay, this task contains the so this in this package will contain the tasks and uh, packages means collection of tasks. It's a collection of tasks. And again, this task contains, so in, so once we open this, okay, just to save as this, I'm not changing anything, file name and all, just I'm change, uh, saving that as this. So here you have a control flow, data flow, parameters, event handlers, and package explorer. So what is this control flow? Control flow means it will define the workflow. So which task execute first and then, so next, which task it will execute, something like this, okay? So so everything is a drag and drop like this okay so so first task this will execute and then second task this will execute 
and again so it will execute one more task something like that. it will define the workflow control flow means it will define the workflow so so what are the task will uh, you know uh, so flow what is the flow of the execution of this task so we have a different different in ssi uh, toolbox okay so sometimes you may not see the toolbox and all so even you can right click here and then you can see the toolbox here so ssi toolbox so you can so you can see here in control for you again uh, control for you will have again uh, tasks control flow control flow in control flow again you will have the tasks and uh, containers containers and uh, so these are the containers what are the containers we have for loop container for each loop container sequence container so these are the task actually so these are the common tasks what are the tasks so these are the favorite task data flow task and execute sql task we will use very frequently so what is this task and all will uh, uh, come to know in future so these are the very common tasks we will use bulk insert task data profiling task execute task sql task so in so this is the solution explorer so sometimes you may not see this solution explorer so you can go view here there is a solution explorer so you can click on the solution explorer so here you will have the uh, packages okay so in package so this is the package so package again contains the projects okay the solution explorer this is the project name integration service um, project for is a uh, this is the project project again contains the packages okay so you can here you can create a multiple packages so in package we'll have this um, control flow data flow so if you want to create one more package just right click here and go with the new package so the package one is come came here so like this so so project and the project contains multiple packages packages contains again control flow data flow parameters event handler so control flow will have this task total task and then containers and precedent constraints precedent constraints mean what so the connections between the tasks okay so precedent constraints mean what this is the arrow what are the what is the arrow is there right so this arrow is called precedent constraint okay this arrow is called precedent constraint whatever the arrow is connecting between the task these are the precedent constraints okay we have a three types of uh, things we have in the control flow first one is a task and then second one is a containers and the third one is the precedent constraints and then next data flow data flow is nothing but a task so so it will navigate so when you double click on that it will take you to the uh, data flow in data flow we will have the sources okay sources and transformation and destinations so we will have a etl operation actual etl operations will do here etl operations will do in the data flow so here we will have the sources transformations and then destinations okay where are the sources and transformation and destinations okay so these are the different types of sources okay here is the sources adgo.net uh, cdc xls flat files and oldb sources raw files and xml files these are the sources we have here and then uh, different type of transformations okay these are the aggregations conditional split data conversion look up merge merge join multi class so these are the different types of transformations these are the very common used transformations and some other transformations also there audit and cache transform so fuzzy look up fuzzy grouping so these are the so these are the very common used transformation common transformations means very frequently we will use this transformations uh, that is the reason these are the common transformations and other transformations which we will we'll use this very free um, you know rarely so that is the reason so these are uh, you know categorized as other transformations so these are uh, favorite so like uh, sources okay these are the other sources they have given so most of the times we will use excel source uh, flat file source oldb source so the remaining will be uh, you know so very rarely we will use this kind of you know, different different transformation uh, different different type of sources and then we will go with the uh, no, uh, common transformation which transformation you want to use and all 
so you can go and then you can connect with these transformations okay so so like this you will connect and then we load into the destination okay okay so there is no inputs that is the reason it's uh, you know uh, see so after that we will go with the destination okay it will clean and then so what are the things we will do later we will see, we'll see that later so most of the times we will go with the old destination again this will connect to the this one like this okay here uh, we will have the connections okay if you like if you connect excel so excel connection will, manager will be there if you connect the destination as a uh, you know sql the sql source connections and then destination connections everything will be here and then uh, this is the variable sections okay if you create some variables and all so the variable sections will be there and uh, here some properties you can see some properties so like these are the properties we see so whatever you uh, you know select that so that related uh, trans uh, properties you can see here and so you can also see what is this transformations all about and then destination all about the year is a definition you will get okay what is the definition okay suppose if you go to the you know control flow suppose you select this uh, data flow so what is this execute so everything execute sql uh, statements are stored procedures in uh, relational database so it will execute the sql statements execute sql task means it will execute the sql statement that may be you uh, know stored procedures or some other uh, sql things like this even uh, data flow you can go and then what is this data flow data flow between uh, moves between uh, source and destination well transforming and cleaning okay it will move source and destination well cleaning the uh, data transforming so these are the different type of transformations you can click here and then you can see the definition also here okay this is all about the introduction about the ssis so once you install the tool and all so you can see this kind of things so we'll uh, we'll see from tomorrow onwards we'll focus on the after installation we'll focus on this control flow and what is the data flow what kind of you know in, so you will go with the each task and what is this uh, each task we will we'll go with the data flow and execute sql task bulk insert task and execute sql task we'll go with the each and everything and then uh, we'll see and also we'll go with the containers uh, each container when we use um, when we will go for a for each loop container when we will go for the for loop container and all and if you write some you know um, you can go add some annotations also annotations means comments who has created this package and uh, so ssis uh, package so whatever the package you want to so what is the main goal of this package is okay so package you can write and then author you can write and then date you can write something okay date you want to write so you can go and uh, add this so if you want to increase the font also you can uh, so even uh, you can drag like this also so if you want to even you can bold this uh, you know Okay, so if you want to add comments, suppose, like oh, suppose someone else has opened this, and then they want to see this who has created and then what date is created. So what is this package all about? If you want to write, some, add some comment, uh, something like that, you can go and then add annotations, and uh, even uh, you can uh, you know increase and uh, decrease the font size also. That we can do that. Okay, so that is about uh, SSIS. So mainly. So, so when you install it, so you may not see, you may not able to see the this toolbox. You can right click and then you can see, you can go with the toolbox and then. So sometimes you may not see the solution explorer. So you can go to the view and then there is a solution explorer. You can click on that, so it will take you to the solution explorer. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay, we'll see tomorrow in detail what is this data flow and. Uh, execution sql task and then the, the remaining topics so just i have given the tool introduction and then what is ssis and what are the advantage of using ssis guys okay so hope you like the video so please share and subscribe guys